Anyway, let's move on. Huh? Yeah, that's probably enough for... You want to read this one? Mariana. So asks, I think they're trying to figure out what mutual funds are. Oh, my God. I put all my... Mariana says... Mariana, my, uh, sorry if I'm butchering that. I put all my savings, $2,000, into J.P. Morgan because my dad said it was a good idea. JPM the stock, I guess. I need reassurance that I'm not a dumbass because whenever... <laughs> <laughs> so do we. Yeah, constantly. Whenever I check my portfolio, it just keeps getting worse. How can you please... Can you please talk about how mutual funds work? How do they compare to regular stocks? How might this perform during the potential recession? Did my dad and his financial advisor just rob a 17-year-old of all her savings? Please help. First of all, you're 17. Your savings are only going to continue to grow. Don't think of your $2,000 as all you've got or all you will ever have. All money that you put into the market is going to go up and down. The beauty of it going down is, you being so young, you're going to get to put in more money and get in at lower prices. No, they didn't just rob you. Uh, no, your dad, your dad's not. So doing tell her that. what a mutual fund is. Well, a mutual fund is just, well, it is a fund of different stocks and bonds and whatnot. And they've got, I think there, there's certain fee structures. So if you buy one, you've, I, I can't remember the rules, but like you're not actually buying shares. You are buying like units. I could be wrong. And I apologize if I am. And they basically you buy you buy it and they create shit. Well, I'll just call them shares. I think they like create them for you, and then when you want to sell, they kind of just like burn them. And because there's, I think there's always a fixed amount. I can't remember. That's neither here nor there. Basically, a mutual fund is just it's like any kind of fund. It's just a collection of a bunch of shit that they choose to buy based on whatever their targets are. The like you know, there's large there's mutual funds that only buy tech stocks and there's mutual funds that are considered like safer because they buy more bonds and dividend shit and whatever. So, uh, so they, how do they compare to regular stocks? They're probably going to be a little less volatile. They're probably going to move a little more stable. It's going to be like a giant. <laughs> See, I just burped out of the way. They might love it. I love it's going to be like a giant ship versus maybe a smaller boat depending on the stock. Cause there are certain stocks that move slower. But and everything is kind of taking a hit right now, so that's probably what's happening to the stock uh, yes. or the mutual fund her dad convinced her to buy JP it. JP Morgan, you know, you I don't know when you bought it, but assuming because you said it's gone down a bunch. Also, don't trip. Don't be looking at that shit every day cuz you're going to you're going to stress yourself out. You're not a trader, so don't worry about it. How might this perform during the potential recession? Well, Poorly. I mean, yeah, <laughs> probably poorly, unless it's a. Unless but don't it's, worry about it. Yeah, unless it's a mutual fund that is short biased or something, <laughs> or invests in bonds. I, you know, I don't know, but so I hope that that was a good answer for you. You, 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 you have so much time. Just tell the financial and a financial advisor, by the way, I believe has a duty to act in your best interests based on your age your risk tolerance, your other certain shit. So just talk to them about what you, what your goals are, and they'll set you up. I mean, My financial advisor is always like, so talk to me about certain shit. 